since the coronavirus situation started, um, some things in my life have changed, but um, some a lot of things haven't changed. Like I still do a lot of the same things I've always done. Um, one thing that has changed, but sort of not, but not that much is that I volunteer at an animal sanctuary every Saturday. I've been doing it for like the past year and a half now. And before this, when I went there, I see all a bunch of people there all the time. And like since the whole stay at home order started and the um, cutbacks of the amount of people that are allowed in certain places, I haven't seen as many people and they actually just stuck with the volunteers and went to the workers. And even though I'm a volunteer, I still have to go because the section that I volunteer at, I'm the only one that goes there on Saturdays. So I help and take care of the animals there. And so not much has changed with that besides the amount of people that I see there and the other volunteers there. So it's another thing that has changed since the coronavirus started is the stay at home order. I don't necessarily like it because I hate being at home and like stuck in one place and I like to go out but I understand why they have it. But with that, I've done a lot more around the house, like cleaning wise and stuff like that. So the house looks a lot better. And I've been spending more time with the animals and stuff like that. So that's always good. Um, so the one thing that I hate about the stay at home order is that it's extend, it keeps extending and like affecting stuff that I plan to do like, in the future. Like my family goes on a camping trip. But with the stay-at-home order getting extended, I may not be able to do that because it's probably going to be closed for the rest of the summer, so that really sucks. Going along with the stay-at-home order, I've been staying at home a lot more than I normally do, which isn't a bad thing, but also has its complications. So being at home means I'm around my family a lot more, and that's not bad because I love being around them and stuff like that. But being around them all the time isn't as good because with my family, there's a lot of drama, like every other normal family. But for me, I feel like there's a lot of drama in my family because, you know, we all have our issues and stuff like that. So being around each other and being stuck with each other makes it 10 times worse than it normally is. So with that, um, that's the one downside, I guess, of being around there. Plus, being stuck in the house full of people because my sister brings over her daughter and then my brother brings over his kids. And it's just like chaos when we're all together, but also um, really fun. And we do have a lot of memories that we can look back on now. So, so the most difficult part about the whole coronavirus situation is from going and being in the classroom, you know, with the teacher in person from being an online class. So that affects me a lot because I like to, like, hands-on learning. Like, I like to be in the classroom with the teacher, like, walking us through the stuff. And with online, I don't get that. Um, it's, like, basically all on my own and at my own pace and stuff like that. Um, and, like, with that, I don't do it as much as I should or I don't keep up with the material and I do it last minute, which is my fault. But, like, I feel like in the classroom, I don't do that as much. Also, with online um, classes, the exams, I'm a poor test taker, so, like, online makes it ten times worse, and it's affecting my grades a lot, which is a big problem to me, and I hope that uh, the coronavirus situation ends and that next year we get to be in class. The coronavirus hasn't really affected me as badly as it has others. Um, there has been small changes such as like the switch to online school, the uh, amount of people that I see out in the stores or at the farm, and then like the future plans um, may having to be canceled due to the stay at home order being extended and like places not being open. And um, so like those are the biggest changes, but like um, I've also seen like on the news or like on Facebook and posts and stuff like that how the earth is improving. So like seeing that makes me hopeful that like something good has come out of it because i've seen like um pollution in china has gotten better i've also seen like um there's like a lot more sea turtles out there so like looking at the bright side has really helped and hopefully this is all gonna end soon and everything's gonna be better than maybe what